you know, bro, do me a favor. Take your uniform allowance. Go buy some beer. Go get an Xbox. Order some Domino's. Because it's about to be a chill-ass Friday night. And I'm about to tell you why. So every year, the day you join the military is when your uniform allowance will hit. Now, you'll get that uniform allowance on your next paycheck, right? And your uniform allowance is supposed to be for you to buy new uniform items. Usually, that never happens. Because, you know, you'll get new uniforms from supply when they were ruined, or so on and so forth. When I get my uniform allowance, I don't even realize I get it. It's kind of just added onto a check, and I'm like, dope, I got paid extra this month. I ain't telling chief. You know, but you get that uniform allowance so you can go and buy new uniforms. Because uniforms are expensive. They are expensive. Now, if you're in the Navy and you need a dress uniform, i.e. the blue or the whites, yeah, I bought a new set of blues because the ones I had were from boot camp. And, you know, they're the old ones now, right? Like the new white ones have the little white uh, blue cuffs on them. And the blue ones were just old. Had them for six years when I first joined the military, you know, 20 pounds ago. So I went and bought new blue tops and bottoms because they were just too short too. It was just terrible. I looked like an idiot. So the top was like 200 bucks. The bottoms were like a hundred dollars. And then you got to pay to get like, you know, alterations and, you know, your stuff sewn on and the neckerchief is just who the hell knows I don't even think the people who make the neckerchiefs know how to tie neckerchiefs. Because those things are literally impossible. I don't know how many YouTube videos you watch to figure it out. But I'm still trying to figure out that number. I'll find out how many licks it takes to get to 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 the center of a Tootsie Pop before I figure out how to tie a neckerchief. Anyway, with all that rambling on, I want to say there are alternatives to you getting new uniforms. Now, new as in not brand new, but new to you. Um, look into what base you're on. A lot of bases have thrift shops. Now, these thrift shops sell uniform items, right? So you can go get yourself a cami pair of pants and a cami blouse for literally a fraction of what it costs in the next. Now, yes, it's used. It's probably not the best option, but it'll definitely get you by for what you need it for. Um, you know, a little of that, you know, that starch, a little recruit iron, a little, you know, just love and care for, and that uniform will look mint. Yeah, you're still going to have to pay for all the sewing and stuff and name plates, but take your name tags off your old uniforms. Just cut them off and bring them to the, you know, the place that does the alterations and the sewings, and they'll do it for you. If you have time and you don't need to get it done right away, Take your uniforms not on base. Take your uniforms to the person off base. Most of the time, what the base will do is take all these uniforms and locate them out to outsource them out to people off base. And they'll do it and then bring it back and then you pick it up. So now you're cutting out the middleman. So you're not paying that extra cost. And you're also getting your uniforms back a lot sooner. If you need them done the same day, the lady out in town will get that shit done for you. If you need it the same day on base, they're going to tell you next week the earliest. Trust me, I've been there, done that. It's, it's a little scary because you're like, I got inspection tomorrow. I knew I probably should have did this a while ago, but it is what it is at this point, right? Like, you just got to figure it the fuck out. Um, when you go to the thrift shop, It's all uniforms that people have either donated or just, yeah, donated, gave away. I don't know how they get all these crazy uniforms and all these blouses and all these dress uniforms, but I don't really care because if they're selling it for eight, ten bucks, no questions asked. Way better than going to the the next or whatever PX you're at and spending, you know, a hundred dollars on something when you could just buy it there. Now... Granted, they're not, like, probably the best uniforms, but who gives a shit? Saves you money, keeps money in your pocket, and you'll look good for inspection. It is what it is. Um, Make sure, too, you're also checking, like, Facebook Marketplace. 
or even your Facebook pages, every single base, I don't care what military you're in, I don't care what branch of service you're in, every military has a Facebook page. Every base has a Facebook page. Whether it's for uniforms, uh, parking spaces, uh, the hours of Popeyes, everything, there's a Facebook group for. Check those pages. If you don't see anything that you need, just ask, say, hey, like I'm in search of pick an article of clothing and put it on there. And sometimes people will be like, yo, you know what? I got an extra, you know, dress top. I'll give it to them for 40, 20 bucks. Who gives a shit? There's always people out there that are trying to sell stuff and make some money. And there's always people out there that are trying to, uh, you know, buy shit. So even if you're one of those people who has extra stuff and you're trying to make an extra, you know, little bucket too, throw your stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Reduce, reuse, recycle. You know what I mean? Clear up that extra hanger, get some extra closet space, and sell your stuff to other people. Help out the community. Also, I want to say, for dress uniforms, I don't know how many times I have gone to the next, the day before inspection, looking for a national defense ribbon, but they're all sold out. Or a global war on terrorism, or a battle E, or pick an award, and they're always sold out. And then I got to figure out how to you know, slide it on there. Then I got to figure out how to get the star perfectly centered. And uh, I fucked it up because now the star's cr- Don't do that. There are plenty of websites out there that will build you a ribbon rack or a medals rack. The easiest one is probably like, you know, easy rack builder. Or there's one that's like USAMM or something like that. I don't know. They're not paying me. I'm not sponsored. I'm just here to give you guys a little advice and, you know, pursue my hobby. But I have bought those racks and they have lasted me forever. They send you a nice little piece of cardboard because we all put cardboard behind our glasses so that it makes it nice and whatnot. But they send them to you nice with bubble wrap and I keep my stuff on there. You know what I mean? Like I take my ribbon rack out. I throw it on my uniform. I stand at attention. They say, Good job. And then I take my uniform off and I put my room back right back on my cardboard, right back in the bubble wrap and leave it in my closet right next to my I love me binder. Highly suggest getting one of those and investing in one of those because it's going to save your ass in the future and it's going to make life so much more easier. It's also going to make it look like you care. You know, if you pick up an award, if you get, you know, an extra star or whatever the case may be. You can always take these ribbon racks, contact the company, and tell them, hey, I want to update this ribbon rack. You send it to them, they update it for you, and then they send it back to you. Make sure you do that at a suitable time so you you don't need it right away because it might take like a week or two for them to process everything and ship it back to you. Just make sure that you you, (laughs) you have an ample amount of time to not have your ribbons. I also harp on like dress shoes, right? Everyone says the dress shoes, they're they're not shiny or you didn't, you know, buff them enough or I don't know. I went the easy route and I bought some of those clear ones, core frames. I don't know what the hell they're called, but I bought them. Best investment of my life. And to keep those things sparkly and super clean, what I do is I took an old pair of, you know, black boot socks and I just cut like the stretchy elastic that goes up your up your leg off and I shove my shoes in there and that sock will protect it from any scuffs or scratches or what have you. Definitely something to look into because I can tell you those things were like 80, a hundred bucks, but um, they've lasted me for my entire military career and they look like they're brand new. With that being said, thank you guys so much. If you have any feedback for me, if you have any questions for me, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'm a one man army out here, man. So I, I, I'll get back to you. I promise. If you have any suggestions, if you have any tips, let us know down in the comments. And if you would drop a like comment and subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. So you never miss a tip or a trick, even a podcast upload. Thank you very much for empire until next time.